Yo, are you okay? I don't feel like working today. Go back home and rest, okay? Do you know Mr. Shelley's been arrested? What? Ibu, since Katros is taking care of Khalid, maybe it's better if she move in here. What do you think? No. It would be to Khalid's benefit, and it would be less disruptive for everyone. I will take care of Khalid. As simple as that. She doesn't need to be around. Don't you get it? We are the ones who need her help. What I get is, Shira and Ruth Nani trying to spark it against your brother. Again. Ibo, are you prepared to lose Khalid? Shira left him to us because she couldn't handle it. Listen, Shira wants Kat Rose to take care of Khalid and move in here. If you don't let Kat Rose move in here, then say goodbye to the house and say goodbye to Khalid. Are you prepared for that? Do what you want. Ma. How's Ella? Sleeping. Oh. I will go and see her afterwards when Farah comes in. I don't think it's good for her to be alone. Mm. Handsome, eat your breakfast, huh? Party. Nonsense. He's hiding out somewhere. Don't give him false hope. Ma. If Pa is dead, the police will call us in to identify the body, right? I tell you, he's hiding somewhere. Pa will call us soon. Eat your breakfast. Pa, Pa has disappeared before. He was gone for 15 years and came back. He came back and sat here having dinner with us. Yeah, that was nice. We are like a family again. Pa is coming back. Okay. They can't send him to prison. How's he going to cope? Derek is stronger than all of us. I was terrified when he came out of the coma, or when I thought he came out of the coma. Dad hated me so much that I thought for sure he's going to totally ignore me. Aren't you glad it didn't turn out like that? Hard to believe, but... I kind of actually bonded with him. I'm gonna miss him. He's going to miss you too. Sorry to, sorry to go on and on about me. I'm sure you're hurting also. I need to have a word with you, Jessica. What's eating you? Celia seems to think that you had a role to play in Derek's trafficking operation. I did. I was the clueless wife. Oh, please, I know what you're capable of. Oh, for goodness sake, Celia. The buying and selling of human organs? Jessica didn't have that kind of a hold on Derek. Celia, what happened to Derek hurts me more than you think. If it's any consolation, Derek was caught in it long before he met you. How would you know? I found out that my former secretary, Elsie, who is Matthew's mother, had a kidney transplant through Derek. Wasn't Elsie working for you when you were still married to Derek? Before you even came along. Listen, 
This is not the time to show any disharmony. The press is going to ask a lot of questions. The three of us have to be on the same page. Eunice is right. We need to put up a united front. We don't want anyone thinking that we're as guilty as Derek. Sorry, I wasn't thinking straight. This whole episode has been tough on everyone. I hope Ella is all right. I mean, imagine being right there when your father gets shot. Here. Thanks. It's so shocking what happened to Derek. I still can't believe it. You know, when I saw my dad in handcuffs, I, uh... <sighs> I'm so sorry, James. He can't be a criminal. He's my dad. My dad's not a criminal. Did you know Dr. Tan was working with Derek Shelley? Oh. Here's my theory. The mastermind was Derek Shelley, and Richard Tan was one of his pawns. And that is based on what? Like you don't know what the family's like. Must be that Derek Shelley had some dirt on Dr. Tan and was blackmailing him. You've been working here too long. James, we need to talk. I've just called an emergency board meeting. Mom, give me a minute here. Our CEO's father just got arrested. We don't have a minute. You should go. I'll get started on the crisis management plan. Emily is pregnant with James' child. But even that doesn't stop you. I have to hand it to you. You know how to play the game. How could you even... You think... had your hooks into Derek, and now you're making a move on James. Are you done, Eunice? First, you'll install yourself as his mistress. Then, you'll break up his family. Did you pick that up from your mother? Excuse me? Mother, mistress, home wrecker, that's the master plan. And now you're going to... You say what you want to say about me. But don't you dare talk about my mother like that. I despise you people. You have no shame. You know what? <laughs> I don't need to put up with any of this anymore. I quit. We'll get started as soon as Ananya gets here. You should read this. Everybody out. Now. Lewis, you stay. Shut the door. What'd you say to her? I did not make her quit. She already had that letter prepared. I am so sick. Of all your scheming, what good has it done? Since you ask, 
we now know Ananya for what she is. She walked out of the company at the time we need her most. Can you just tell me the truth for once? James, you are allowing yourself to be governed by emotion. We are in crisis mode. The family needs you to step up and rescue Shelley Holdings. I gotta get out of here. James, she's flying off. You've got a board meeting, you can't just leave. I hate to say it, but what Eunice said really hurts. Hey, you gotta let her get to you again. James, I, I used to worship Derek Shelley, and now I find out that he's a criminal? I'm such an idiot. I mean, this man was literally someone that I, I was prepared to die for. Hey, you're out of that hellhole. Stop doing this to yourself. <sighs> you know, at times like this, I find that screaming at the top of your voice really helps. Yeah, just take a deep breath and, and let it all out. I'll, I'll do it with you. Okay, just, just shut up. I'm afraid we can't match the salary that you were getting at Shelley Holdings, but at least with us, you know what you're getting yourself into. Hmm? Ananya, you've liberated yourself from that horrible place. Time to drink a toast to it. With green tea. Sorry we're not Shelley Holdings. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Ananya, I need to talk to you. Call me back soon. The press have been calling nonstop. There's even a couple of reporters waiting in the lobby. Great. So what should we tell them? That's the way you're taking charge. You're talking to the press. No. Nope? No. Zara, has your study visa been approved? Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Rosati's work visa is also being processed as we speak. So both of you are flying off to Australia together? Ibu, please understand. Rosati's a good guy and he'll take good care of me. Gee, I've met Rosalie. He's a decent guy. This is none of your business. You're not letting Zara grow up. What did you say? Ibu Carlos is only saying what all of us have been thinking. What we've all accepted. I'll bring her back up to your room. James, wait, slow down. What, Lewis? Look, say you find Ananya, then what? I haven't thought about it. Look, tell me honestly, what are you gonna do? Ask her to marry you? Look, I just wanna see her again. So, any news on the fate of your ex company? What makes you think? Yeah, you can take the girl out of Shelly Holdings, but you can't take Shelly Holdings out of the girl. You can take the smart ass out of Singapore, but when he gets to Perth, he'll still be an ass. You two, please behave. <laughs> Forget it, bro. Let her go. James. James. James! I didn't get a chance to uh, say goodbye to you. I feel like I owe it to you to, um... Look, on behalf of Shelley Holdings, I'd just like to uh, thank you for all your hard work and dedication. And I want you to know how highly we value you. And um, we're gonna miss your foresight and your uh, reliability, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm sorry to see you go. All the best in Perth. 
And same to you, Kenneth. And you, Kenneth's mom. Yeah, um, best of luck. Take care. Can you explain to me what's going on? Why are you walking away and not going after her? Well, she deserves a fresh start. She doesn't need the baggage. If I go with Ananya, she'll never be free of this. But you guys belong together. <sighs> Look, Ananya deserves a good life. A stress-free life, a normal life, a regular life. I'm talking too much. Okay, what's this? What's going on? Are, are you going somewhere? Looks like it. You can't leave. Where are you going to go? <laughs> Anywhere but here. I mean, you know what I mean. Hey, like, don't miss me too much, okay? I'll be back. Come here. In the meantime, somebody's got a mind to store, so, Lewis, I am naming you acting CEO of Shelley Holdings. The what? <laughs> oh. Go. Come on, you got a job to do. Hey, can I get that in writing? <laughs> I'll text you. Derek has confessed to everything. You made him do it. I had to protect James and the family business. But ultimately, I did it for Elsie. What's going to happen to your father? Chances are he'll be discharged from the force. He was trying to save your mother's life. I hope they take that into consideration. Look, uh, about your husband, I was just doing my job. Derek was a fool. Matthew, I don't hold anything against you. I hope we can stay in touch. We will. You, me, and my mom. You gave this to me on my 19th birthday. And I'll always wear it when I'm in Australia. So you'll always be with me. I'll always be safe, Ibu. Where is James? The board members will be here any minute. He's not picking up. Eunice, have you seen Louis? How on earth should I know? <laughs> Call him again. Eunice, what is the plan of action? She writes the answering. Eunice, what is the plan of action? What are we going to tell the press? I have no idea, all right? Hey, everyone. Great news. James has made me acting CEO. He would! I think we should tell Dee that we are leaving. Yeah. She want to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dee. Hi. I'm at the airport with Mum. We were leaving for Perth. The three of us. Yeah. I'm going to Perth too. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you have the same look on your face that I had when you told me that you wanted us to get hitched. <laughs> Don't get too excited, OK? We're not getting married, but we are kind of back where we started. But it's going to be a whole new experience for us. It's going to be a bit of something old and a bit of something new. Losing you to cancer was so tough. I wanted you to keep fighting it. 
I was so angry with you, but I think I get it now. Sometimes you've got to learn to let go. Besides, I've got my new family now. <laughs> we couldn't <laughs> stop her. She just barged in on us. <laughs> While we were packing, she told us you're going to have to take all of me, the best and worst of me. It was like a threat. Hey, I said it with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> And save me from myself Don't want to cry when all the lights go out So we're going to take our chances with Ananya. We can't wait to get to Perth. It's going to be fun and exciting. And even if things get a little hairy, I think we'll be OK. We've got each other. We all miss you very much. We'll see you soon. So I make the spies and bury them with me. But don't walk away and let me be. So won't you save me? Thank you for the coffee. It kind of hurts, but I will smile somehow. So won't you save me from myself? But I will try until it all comes down and down. I'm a CID. Running around is the best part of my job. I give up on you. Hey, are you free later? Come with me to Yoke's welcome home party. She, she's back? Mm. Oh, maybe not. Jessica Shelley won't like it. She and the other ex, Mrs. Shelley, are still mad at me. For arresting Derek? Ignore them. You were doing your job. Derek knew he had to face the consequences. Look, I don't care. You're my godson, I'm inviting you. 